Hey guys, what's going on? So in this video, we'll be learning about how to resolve merge conflicts. Now, merge conflicts occurs when you're trying to change the same line of code, which is actually being merged into the branch. Or you can say it mainly occurs when two users are trying to merge the same changes, but with a different context. Say, suppose I have made a change in line number three of my code and say another user has also made a change at line number three. And we both want to merge into the main branch. At this point, Git gets confused on what branch to choose from. Well, at these certain cases, Git takes our help or you can say human help to resolve these conflicts. So let me go ahead and show an example. Now, as you can see, I haven't initialized a Git repository. So let me go ahead and do that. Git in it. Now we have a Git repository. Now let's go ahead and uh, add some changes. Say this, this is a first line. Let's actually go ahead and commit this. Add and Git commit. Cool. So this has been committed. Now let's create two separate branches. Uh, before that, let me enter. Cool. Now let me go ahead and uh, create two separate branches. Git checkout. Oops. Checkout dash p one. And let's create another branch. Git checkout dash p two. Cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a change. Okay. Let me come back to one branch. Git checkout one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a change in the third line. So let's say this is a change done in one branch. It's actually a name. So let's me put them in a quote and let me go ahead and commit this change. So let me type git commit dash am change in or line or something. All right. So let me quickly go to the second branch two now let's make the change over there as well one two and let's make the change this will surely cause merge conflicts and let me save this as well so let me commit this to the branch hit commit dash am all right now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to imitate a condition where two is actually a branch from another user and one is a branch from certain another user. So let me go ahead and merge this two branch, this branch named two to the master branch. So let me go ahead and check out to the master branch and let me merge the branch number two. Cool. Now let me go ahead and merge the branch number one. Now, if you remember earlier, the merge conflicts occur when you have made same set of changes, that's same set of changes, but actually by two different users or by two different branches. To show you, let me go ahead and merge the branch one. Now, as soon as I do that, you would notice that something like this has appeared saying head, which is the current change. This will surely cause merge conflict, which is already there, which is merged. And this is branch one which says this is a change done in one branch. Now at this point, Git is really confused which change to select. It says, hey, recently a person has actually made a change at this line and you are also making a change at this line. Which one should I keep? I'm pretty confused. I need your help. At this point, the latter person who committed very recently will be shown this dialogue or you can say shown this prompt. Now, at this point, you can keep the changes that you want you made or you can discard the changes that other person did. So let's go ahead and discard the per changes that other person did. So in order to do that, you need to remove all those unwanted, unnecessary things. Remove that. Oh, and uh, let me control Z. OK, so one more thing is that you can actually this is actually Visual Studio Code showing me this interactive way. If, if you want to take a look at this, uh, you can check it by typing cat and the file name. So in this case, the file is pi.py. Now you can see the same content over here as well. So let me actually bring this up. All right. So you can see the same changes head. This will surely cause merge conflicts. And this is a change done in one branch. And this is the branch name. You might have now got the point of why I use Visual Studio Code. So it's a really flexible, really cool, amazing IDE. And I re definitely recommend you to download this as well. It has really helped me a lot in my personal projects. Cool. So let me actually keep my changes. Let me discard that other guy's change. And let me remove this as well. So this is also not required. Cool. Let me delete these two lines. All right. Now let me go ahead and save it. And let me commit these changes. So let me type git commit dash am updated 
changes and you are done let me type git log dash dash one line and you will notice that we have updated the changes so that's all for this video it's a really short video i know that and it was a really important one because uh, in our previous videos we have certain cases where we actually encountered a merge conflicts and this is how you resolve them thank you for watching this video guys i hope you really enjoyed this video and if you really enjoyed this video make sure make sure to hit like and support us by subscribing the, to this channel and you can also spread the word to those who really want to learn more about git and other tech stack we will be gladly able to help them and this will also help us to grow all right guys see you in the next lecture